transmitting high atop of Florida's peninsula, 108 feet. This is Alpha Mike, and you are listening to episode 211, Parlor. Get on it, and we'll explain much more in a few. Well, how do you get in contact with us? It's easy, radacop.com. You can hear all our episodes from 1 to 211. And RaiderCopNation.com is our official website where you can get more information about us and upcoming episodes as well. Well, where can you hear the podcast? Wherever you get your podcast. Most likely, we will be on there. Almost guaranteed. Whether it's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Pandora, Tune in, iHeart, and the list goes on. All you have to do is type in Raider Cop Podcast or Raider Cop Nation, and we will definitely pop up. All right, now, social media. Now, I've always said we're not on the little bird, which is Twitter, but I have a question that I'm posing to a lot of governments out there. Why in the world are you communicating with your citizens via Twitter when it's a known fact millions upon millions of people have left have left Twitter? So that's my question. But you will find us on of course a lot of the new social media. We're not on the little bird and we're not on LinkedIn. Don't waste your time looking us, looking for us there. We're long gone out of there. We're still on Facebook because Governor DeSantis of Florida has told us that Facebook will get pow-pow if they play their games. That's coming soon to Floridians in the, in the near future. So we know that it's coming. So we stayed on. You can look us up on social media by looking up Raider Cop, Raider Cop Podcast, or Raider Cop Nation. Of course, we're on Parlor as Raider Cop. So you can find us there if you want to hook up. Now, as of uh, Monday, the 19th, Mike Lindell, the pillow man, is launching his social network or social media, which is called Frank the voice of free speech. And you can get that on frankspeech.com. We encourage you to find us there. We will be listed there as well as probably as Raider Cop Podcast. We encourage you to look us up. We are totally uh, content and happy that Mike Lindell went out and created his own platform And hopefully it goes on without a twist. You know, the left is trying to silence our speech. YouTube's out of control. Facebook is out of control. Twitter, the little bird, is out of control. And I can continue going from there. Amazon's a little nutty as well. iOS, Apple, and Android and Google. So we've got to create our own platforms, and that's what we're doing as conservatives. You want to protect your country? You believe in your country? You believe in everything that's happening? Well, we need you to pay attention. Living in the Bolshevik states of woke isn't easy. It will, undoubtedly, you're looking at it from... Uncle Sinister Joe Biden's point of view. Gas prices, up. Taxes, up. Guns, far-reaching grab. And, of course, your speech, as we talked about. Undoubtedly, the White House has lent a blind eye and a deaf ear to that problem because they're behind the problem. Immigration, thousands of kids. You might have not known, but the United States government and Sinister Joe are in the human trafficking business with the Mexican cartel. 
This, my friends, and much more is the government that we have today. The Bolshevik states of woke voted for by supposedly 80 million Americans and some non-Americans. They have placed this lunatic and this lunacy on top of us. But it only gets better from there. Coming to a suburb near you, they will be having low-income housing. You can't go to the suburbs, live in a single-family home like a human being, paying taxes out of the wazoo. No, we're going to put right next door to you low-income housing because it's fair and equitable. But I can guarantee you, and Sinister Joe and Camilla Harris is neighborhood, there is no low-income housing. That's only for me and for you. So living under the sinister Bolshevik states of woke, our military has been shaken and awakened as they get patriots out as fast as they can throw them out, and they're converting their military hacks. Police chiefs also are getting a pat on the back and told, we got a new assignment for you in the Bolshevik states of woke. We'll come out with complete listings of all these entities in the near future. But as you know and I know, 100 companies recently lost their mind where they started dwelling into politics that the Georgia uh, legislation did not have the consent of America to change its election laws or to firm or reaffirm their election laws. 100 goofs stood up and it's going to cost them badly. Now, Speaking of cost, it's time to read the good word of God. From the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 24, it reads, Pleasant words are like honeycombs, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Again, Proverbs 16.24. You can hear much more on what I read and what I've read in other podcasts um, on RaiderCopNation.com. There's a section on there that says A Wall, and you can listen to those. We, we kind of, they're going to be regular shows on Sunday night. They'll be sent out as of May. And of course, regular programming for us is Wednesdays. But those shows, A Wall, shows they will be heard they'll be on the website radicopnation.com and you can hear them all they'll be down there in some type of uh, order for your spiritual growth because that's important all right today we are going to talk about the social media network called parlor why you should be on it and what exactly are we here on radio cop podcast talking about when we say get on it, it is important. It is crucial that you pay attention. The Bolshevik states of woke are fastly attacking us in this civil war for this country. And Parler is a part of this as well. So it's time to get the short bust and the clowns out. And we are going to hear episode 211. Parler, get on it.
Episode 211, Parlor, get on it. We are going to start off with the general question. What in the heck is Parlor anyway? Well, Parlor is part of a social media company that they have been a part of the movement in America on the craziness of social media. As you may know or may not know, Parler has had a couple of hiccups here and there. But before we get into those little hiccups, let's talk a little bit about Parler. It's a private social media company. It started in 2018, headquarters in Henderson, Nevada. And uh, we've had a couple of CEOs come. One came, one left, one came. And it's a little bit of a mystery who's behind it, who owns it, but who cares? Well, that's what we'll say. We know that Dan Bongino has his own podcast, is, or said he's an, an investor of the company. Don't know if he's still an investor or pulled out. But nevertheless, uh, most of the people that are either investors or owners of the company are a little bit of a mystery. Recently, the media has learned that Rebecca Mercer is a part owner of the company. You can look her up. We'll put it down in the show notes so you can read it. But nevertheless, it, it, it's not about who owns it. It's talk about what it stands for. Now, just to give you a little bit of uh, an overview of this, let's talk about the surge. Back in mid-2020, uh, Dan Bongino, has, he's got a very popular the Bongino show uh, podcast. I listened to it. Wealth of information. And he uh, was advocating a lot for Parler as an investor, rightfully so. And so it was taking on a lot of people. Uh, there was even rumors that President Trump at the time was going to jump on Parler because the little bird had banned him from Twitter. So, but he that never really manifested itself. So the surge in mid 2020 saw over by December of 2020, 20 million members. That's a lot of people. And today there's active. It says that it have 2.3 million. So there's no doubt that the pain and suffering that Amazon and some of these other companies, iOS and Android, have caused have really hurt Parler. But why Parler? Well, the other issue is the storm that came in in 2021. And that was the storming of the U.S. Capitol. It was real quick that the United States government put two and two together, and the answer probably wasn't four. It came out to be 16. But they decided that Parler played a role in the storming. I like how they, they title those things? The storming of Capitol Hill. Well, I saw footage myself as the cops told them, come on in, use this door. And everybody walking in, taking pictures with their cell phones. The storming of capital, of the U.S. Capitol. Now, of course, we're not condoning what occurred there. It was wrong. We understand it was wrong, but it was also misleading. We'll throw the word misleading in there, too. And if you don't like it, well, it sucks to be you. But after that storming of the U.S. Capitol, the lights were go out for Parler as they made Parler a co-conspirator conspirator to the act that happened at the U.S. Capitol. This is similar as two bad guys pulling off a bank robbery and getting into a Volkswagen and driving away. And we are going to ban all Volkswagens in America because of this criminal act. Well, that's what they're doing with Parler. But they said that all the masterminding occurred on Parler, but there's a whole lot of evidence nobody wants to look at that 
it occurred mostly on Facebook. But you can't mention Facebook because they're a part of the Bolsheviks. And if you do, then you'll get banned from YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. And, you know, you know how it goes. Android, iOS, and Amazon. The three shots that put Parler out of its misery. Android blocked it from its Play Store. iOS said you can't play here either. And Amazon took the server down that they were using to house up to 20 million active subscribers. It all came crashing down. And days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. And nobody knew if Paula would ever come back. They sued they got denied. It got uglier as the time went on. And slowly, the lights started coming on. First, very vaguely. They got a server from someplace. And then people wanted to rush back and they grabbed their iPhones or their Android phones and they clicked on that app and nothing was happening. You see, the apps had been removed by iOS and Android. So, at least in iOS, that I can tell you, it was worthless. You got rid of it. It basically, I remember when I tried to get back on Parler, it told me to uh, uh, re reestablish the app or something similar to that, which basically, once you erased it and tried to bring it back to... The joke was on you because it didn't exist anymore. So the only way that I can get Parler is from my desktop computer. Not very effective. Maybe that's because they got 2.3 million people only. But why is it important just to go to a desktop computer and log in? Well, if we show the United States court system 10 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 90 million Americans on something that these other companies found offensive, maybe the court would take a longer, harder look at the facts. Whether you use Parler or not is not really what message we're trying to send out. It's really more about taking a stand for what's right. Parler was the voice of thousands and millions of conservatives that the Bolsheviks just shut down because. But this is not about Parler. This is about those that love America, the Constitution, and what the United States of America stands for each individual. They need to stand up and say... I've had about enough of this baloney. All of Mega, Omega, should be clicking onto their desktop and getting on Parler and establishing their either old account or a new account. Why? Because it's a matter of principle, folks. Paula did nothing wrong. What they're angry about is that Paula wasn't censoring people like they do on the other networks that they can't control. So let's not get this twisted for a second. It's all about control. And Amazon established its muscle by disconnecting the plug. No more server. Apple and iOS can't get it here. Keep moving. Android, Google, can't hear it here, hear it here, hear it here either. So you have to say to yourself, what, what, where, where are all these rules and regulations of fair trade practices? How can this be happening? If uh, free Americans, millions, want to have and have this on their phone 
No, now all of a sudden we're being told this BS about they're private companies and they can do that. Really? Well, there's not much choice. We're handcuffed. We're forced to listen to or have very few options. And that's the way these Bolshevik operations usually love to work, giving citizens less and less options because the only option is them. Okay. Now that we got all that on the table, there's so much more work that needs to be done. You know, there's a bunch of other networks that are out there, MeWe, Wimkin, and of course the one we spoke about in the intro, Frank, the voice of free speech. It's uh, starting as of the 20th, I believe, of April. Now, these things are not going to look and feel like Twitter, the little bird, or Facebook. They're going to take a while to reach that level of perfection. But first of all, they need members and they need you and I to join the ranks. If whatever social media that you've jumped on new in 2021 and you feel fairly comfortable there, I suggest you stay there. Because right now we really don't have a place to hang our hat. We're still, all of us are looking and exploring. But jump on, jump on every train you can jump on. Eventually we'll figure this out. So much work to be done. Recently, as you know and I know, that 100 executives have dabbled in the politics of the election laws in Georgia. And I had a little difficult time finding out who are these 100 companies. Because the controlled state media the Bolshevik media won't release all the names. You'll get a tidbit here and there, probably the ones that don't care. And yeah, you can put our name in the paper. Yeah, we're okay with it. But there's so many that are hidden and so difficult to find. Now, we did get a list. We did find one. We'll attach that to the show notes. My understanding out of the 100 CEOs, 90 signed this cockamamie letter about unfair election process in Georgia. I can assure you that these lunatic CEOs never even read this stuff. They're just jumping on the bandwagon. They don't want to piss off what they believe is the majority of their customers. Boy, are they stupid. Yes, they are. Groups like Delta, Coca-Cola... Delta has forgotten all they do is fly planes. Coca-Cola forgot all they do is sugar water. United and American Airlines are also confused about how to fly a plane. Starbucks, with their high price coffee, they forgot that Dunkin' Donuts exists. Target, another one, out, out to lunch. Walmart. Thank God for Walmart. Walmart said, nah, we're not getting involved in this. We don't get involved in politics. Sucks to be you. And they didn't do it. Levi Strauss, I guess I won't be wearing any of their jeans. PayPal, they ain't playing with me no more. Major League Baseball, we know the cluster they did, putting thousands of minorities in hardship financially because they actually... wanted the all-star game in Georgia where they won't be getting it. Citigroup, I'd be pulling out the money right now. UPS, I guess I'll be using FedEx. Viacom, CBS, really, for real? I mean, does anybody see CBS anymore? Twitter, the little bird. So many people have left Twitter. I don't think they have a nest to lay in. AMC Theaters. Are you for real? I mean, have they declared the bankruptcy? Have they made it official yet? Or are they just dangling this like a carrot in front of our face? Are you serious? Movies as you've known it, and I've known it, has ceased to exist. 
but they went why for shits and giggles Aflac well you know where the duck and stick it and Home Depot of all places what in the world but for a more detailed list we'll we'll put down that article that we found from heritage.org and they kind of talk a little bit more uh, of the reasoning of, of these companies and it's hypocritical because a lot of these companies have to have ID, right? So that's part of what they're complaining about, ID process. But a lot of these companies need ID just to go to board meetings and stockholder meetings and so forth. So hypocritical, they're jumping on board because uh, companies like the Bolsheviks in power. Now, this is the same government that's going to hack uh, hack the, the tax rate way up. Doesn't matter. Because you might not have been told, nobody's told you, but I'm going to fill you in on it. Get closer to the, to the speaker so you can hear. Companies don't pay taxes. No, they don't pay taxes. They place that, that extra funding on you. You pay the tax. That's how that works. So, what are we going up to? 36%? 38%? Nah, not a problem. We just throw that on to the customer. That's how that works, people. So companies don't pay taxes. This, comp- this crap that uh, Sinister Joe says all the time, bad companies, they got to pay their fair share. They're not going to pay their fair share. The ones that are paying their fair share is coming out of your ass and mine. That's how that works. So, you know, wake up and smell the coffee. So, why do we need to get on parlor? Well, it's a stand. <coughs> it's a stand that we need to take that we're tired and we're not going to put up with this BS anymore. Why in the world should a conservative platform that had 20 million followers have 2.3 million that are active today? Because Amazon CEO got his panties on the wrong side? Or Apple CEO just woke up on the wrong side of the fruit basket? Or Google They couldn't read the alphabet good enough, so they got pissed off. It's wrong. It's not what this country stands for. And a message to those people that voted for Joe. There's two types. They're the ones that will defend him no matter what. And they go, oh, you guys, you're conspiracy, and it's not like that. And, you know, that's a stretch. And these people will drive a ship right off the edge of of the earth. These people are complete lunatics. And the other ones are, they're in hiding now. They're on the land. They're in the Fugitive Witness Protection Program. You can't find them. They were so big mouth, loud mouth during the election and now that they've figured out, wait, wait, hold on, the gas is going up. I gotta pay higher taxes. I got now all of a sudden you can't find them. They're in witness protection because anybody that opposed them and had half a brain, they're they're hiding from now. So those are the two types of people that are out there. But folks, you need to pay attention to these things and evaluate it on your own. You don't need to make a public statement of how you feel, that public statement comes in the voters' box. But if you're down with higher taxes and paying more, I fall for the next schmuck that comes up with higher tax plans. Okay, if you're down for, if you're a girl, you can be a boy. If you're a boy, you're down, you can be a girl. And fall for the next quack that likes that, that brings that on, on the agenda. Okay, and we can go on and on and on with all the the stupidness that is coming on towards Americans. Listen, 
people now are starting to get post-traumatic syndrome when they see Joe Biden next to a podium and a microphone. Because somehow, by the time he finishes drooling on the microphone, you and I are going to pay something. There, it's, it's like the Grim Reaper coming to visit you. And that's what the Democratic Party has turned into. So the issue with Parler is a stand for what's right. And I honestly believe that the company will never come back to what they had. I think Parler is really, really on there to, to, to take Twitter on. And uh, without this interference, they really, really uh, were going to be a force to be reckoned with. But hey, a Bolshevik meeting, they closed ranks and they took care of business. Let me just say this, that in the communist plot of Karl Marx, the ending of the book that a lot of people don't know is that corporations or private business is the last hurdle and exactly what the the plan is it would substitute government because ultimately government couldn't be trusted either and corporations would be controlled similar to what you have today in China so when a lot of people are wondering why do they do this stuff with uh, with uh, America, you know, the big tech, and wh- why are they doing this? Well, two reasons. They're useful idiots. That's one of them. And two, they actually believe that they're going to be unopposed. That you're going to serve the new Bolshevik states of war for eternity and make a trillion dollars. But this is how goofy these people are. They actually believe this stuff. And it couldn't be further from the truth. So keep an eye out also on Frank, the voice of free speech that Mike Lindell's doing. I believe he's going to have a lot of attacks, a lot of issues with the left. They don't want us to have our own platforms. We need to keep on fighting. That's what this is all about. You might not have noticed. No one has probably told you, but we're in the middle of a civil war. But it's not a civil war like it occurred in 1860s. No, this civil war is being done in boardrooms and behind closed doors to make our life much more difficult. Where you go, who you see, how you travel, where you even shop, what you see on your phone, what you're allowed to see in the media. It's all about control. And all along to erase the Christian faith from the face of the earth. Because ultimately they feel that the Christian message is contrary to what they're doing. And of course it is. Because this is the party, the Democratic Party is the party of a bunch of race hustlers, a bunch of people that believe in abortion, a bunch of people that believe in if you want to change your sex, go ahead and change it. They're all they're also war mongers picking on Russia now and we're gonna have a fight with Russia or, or China. We will not last four years of this penguin in the White House without getting into a war. They are war mongrels. The Democrats have always been pro-war. But how many millions of Americans have been bamboozled by the party of hate, the Democrats? And of course, the Republicans are deaf, dumb, and stupid. Useful idiots that have allowed all this to occur for centuries. They they don't know anything. Everything is a shock. Oh my goodness. 
No, they want to pack the Supreme Court. You know, this is just, uh, it's a shame that the Republican Party for so long has allowed this nonsense to go on. The Democratic Party should have been put out of its misery 70, 80 years ago. But the Republicans are too busy uh, robbing the bank. And that's why they haven't done it. But we need as patriots to take back our country. If you believe in the amendments like the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms and be part of the militia, you are a patriot. We need you in this fight. We don't need you to stay silent as you go off with the rest of the sheep for slaughter. We need you to be vocal. We need you to start by telling your local government. Here's a here's a beautiful one you can start with. Text, email, or call, or write. Those are four options you've got. Your local leader. First, find the idiot's Twitter handle. And then write him a note. Call them on the phone, whatever means you want, and tell them, hey, boob, hey, shh, why the hell are you using Twitter? I'm not on Twitter. What are you using Twitter for? I don't know anybody that's on Twitter no more. Start getting these politicians embarrassed because they're not, have you noticed, they're not transferring over to the new media platforms. You should start by demanding they get their rear ends on Parler, on MeWe, Wimkin, whatever the hell's out there. Frank, the voice of free speech, we demand it because half of America is on those platforms. It is a wild time that we are living what is good is is being regarded as bad. What is bad is being regarded as good. The race hustlers are making tons of money huddled up in small little corners behind curtains to create the next aggravated story in America. And, of course, terrorists are crossing unopposed the border. Soon we'll have... Another attack on, on our lovely shores as Uncle Joe naps in the White House. But when he wakes up, they'll inform him. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just tell, tell Camilla. But this is the America that you and I live in. Don't be bamboozled. Don't continue to cover the sun with your hand and say that it's not sunny out. It's foolishness, folks, at this point. This is a runaway train. This is a train wreck waiting to happen. We are going to run into catastrophe after catastrophe with these boobs. They don't know what they're doing, but what they do know how to do is destroy what is already in place our country they will destroy the supreme court they will destroy the constitution they will destroy our rights to defend ourselves they will tax the hell out of us they will control industry and within three or four years we'll be snacking you and i out of every garbage can in america like they do in venezuela I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of this crap. And we need to do something about it because this is our country. So we are on parlor. Rate a cop, look us up, hook us up, and let us know that you are a patriot and you're standing up. We ask you also hook up to the show notes down below and get on Frank, the voice of free speech that Mike Landell, the pillow man, has put up his own money to do this, and I'm proud that he is doing that. He's not a laid down Sally. He's really fighting for you and for me. It's so important 
that we keep our eye on the ball. You know, lately, a lot of military personnel, patriots, true patriots, are being removed from the military very quietly. And they're being replaced by hacks. Police departments, the same thing. This is a troubled time that we're living, folks. And you and I need to keep our head on the swivel and start engaging. How do you engage? Start with your local politician and kick him in the nuts a couple of times and tell him or her that get off of Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. And then we can get something going. Well, cops are on their way. They finally picked up the new Bolshevik states of woke. That's their police department coming to pick me up because I'm talking too much propaganda. They probably got an all-points bulletin out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and all these other Bolshevik social media. Get this guy. He's talking revolutionary, counter-revolutionary. We need to get him. As always, it is my honor and pleasure to be your host on Radio Cop Podcast. Continue to pray for yourself. So without you in the game, we have nothing. Continue to pray for your community, your family, the law enforcement agency that serves you, and for the United States of America. Up next, episode 212, overtime, off-duty monitoring with Wonder Woman. I got to get out of here. The cops are here.